Hi Aries, it's me G1 Writing with G1 Insights and I am doing your life and love energy for July 2019. This is for Aries Sun, Moon and Rising so I'm not going to hold you guys too long. I'm going to try my best to speed this up. So let's get into it. So Aries, it seems like you guys are doing really, really well this season. It seemed like you know, all those things that kind of once held you back is no longer holding you back. I feel like even your energy was pretty much the same even in June, you know? Like, there was the confidence thing. You guys were kind of um, getting your groove back a little bit, right? And I feel like even for the month of July, there's a lot of positivity here. There's a lot of positivity here. Um, there's a lot of personal healing and happiness here, a lot of um, focused energy where you guys are kind of just get reconnecting with you, like reconnecting with your soul, okay? I see there's going to be like a lot of conversation about health, um, rehabilitation, possibly even working out, going back to being working out or um, something with you guys really kind of... Um, because hmm. I see healing. Healing is here in a huge way. And this could be maybe you're healing from something from the past. You're no longer looking at a situation as um, in a negative way like you used to. You're no longer looking at an individual in a negative eye. Okay. Um, July 2nd, we're going to have the new moon in Cancer. Okay. Um, the new moon in Cancer is so beautiful because it talks a lot about, you know, our creativity, our inspirations, our intuition, our sensitivity, our values, things that matter to us the most. And, you know, when I think of Cancer energy, it talks a lot about stability. And I know that you guys don't like to be stuck and bored and grounded and you guys don't really like a lot of drama either, but... You guys can rather be very impulsive, and I feel like, you know, whatever happens this this season, just, you know, just try your best to go with the flow. That is all I can really tell you guys, because you guys are, you're a fire sign, and fire signs can help themselves. Even when there are delays, you guys will still try to find a way to kind of push through. So... Um, for fire signs that you guys are going to have to be extra very strong this season. Not because you guys are going to have a bad month, but because the energy around you is just going to be crazy. Okay? We still, we have so many planets that are in retrograde. We have um, Mars in Cancer. We have Mercury in Cancer. Neptune is like doing its thing. I mean, the energy is crazy this season. So it's not like it's you personally or like some personal attack against you but i will say pay attention to your home environment you know pay attention to who you let in your home don't let just anybody in your home okay but i do see and feel that some changes were either made recently or is about to be made okay going into the month of july there will be a lot of questions or concerns in regards to your home environment so definitely someone is either moving in or someone is moving out either way i just see a lot of you maybe redecorating um re renovating okay or just simply just making a natural healthy change okay within yourself or maybe somebody else is doing something that's healthy maybe someone has stopped drinking stop smoking someone is doing something um, that's basically going to benefit you and the whole entire household. So this is really good. Um, again, whatever it is, I just see like this huge transition. But it's a happy thing, though. That's the the crazy part. It's a happy thing. So this, this is personal healing and happiness because whatever the, the transition is that's happening within your home, it's making you happy. And that is all cancer energy. Like cancer loves home like they love tradition and family and fun and freedom and you guys can literally find a way to thrive in this energy but you have to be willing to pay attention to the details you have to pay attention to what's not being said to you you have to go into the season with a whole new mindset and i've been t trying to tell myself and other people that as well like other zodiac signs just because it is really really important that we are focused on the details june 7th or 8th mercury will go retrograde in cancer but it will end in your sister sign leo so just like sagittarius i'm gonna tell you guys right like it's gonna be interesting because 
it's not going to go retro it's not going to finish its retrograde in virgo like it normally does it's going to finish its retrograde in your sister sign so for a lot of you expect some delays expect you know some some difficult moments where you may have to feel like you have to explain yourself and i know you don't like that but god please listen please don't go overboard <laughs> don't go overboard with the conversation if someone says to you something that just don't sit right and it just bothering you and you really feel like you got to say something i don't care walk out the house walk down the street go to the store go shopping do whatever you got to do just try your best not to fight so much this season just because mercury retrograde has a way of blocking our communication and a lot of times you know this is one of the seasons where you might want to check your birth chart to find out your mercury and where your mercury is like in what zodiac sign your mercury like for instance my mercury is in capricorn so i know that my head and my heart is in alignment like um, when i make a decision I, I make my decision like i'm very you know direct and so the same thing is with you aries if you want to know where your mercury is and what sign you have to pay attention to um it's either going to be the sign before you Right? Like, it's either going to be Pisces or it's either going to be Taurus, okay? Or it might even be Aries, okay? But pay attention and really find out how a person with Mercury and that zodiac sign affects your ability to communicate because that is going to help you this season. Understanding how to communicate during Mercury Retrograde is going to be the best. Double check your emails, your phone calls, your phone logs um text messages because mercury has everything to do with our communication how we communicate how we how we deliver our messages represents words okay so anytime you're dealing with words it could be anything it could be a verbal thing it could be an emotional thing things that we're missing things that we're not really um understanding things that we're not saying so pay attention to the details this season aries because if you pay attention to the details then you will do just fine during this mercury retrograde but it's important that you pay attention to what's not being said okay when it comes to contracts of any of course i'm going to tell you like i do on any mercury retrograde or any plan to go retrograde okay it's important to double check everything your finances you know um just everything double check like your contracts if you're getting married this season I mean, I don't want to be, you know, a buzzkill, but I'm just saying, if you guys can wait until like the first week of, or the second week of August, like between the, the 8th and the 12th of August, then you guys will be just fine, because by then you'll have a lot more clarity. But the fact that Mercury is going to retrograde in a sensitive sign like Cancer, and the fact that Cancer overall has this energy where they like to bring up things from the past, they like to reminisce a lot, cry a lot, get emotional a lot, right? And Mercury retrograde, when Mercury goes retrograde, it also brings up things from the past. So there may be some things that are brought up from the past that might make you feel upset or emotional. Um, things that just probably don't make sense to you or things that you just simply want clarity on, okay? But overall though, Aries, with this new transition, I mean, you're going to be feeling beautiful. Whatever this transition is when it comes to your home environment or um, this could even be a relationship. Maybe some of you are getting married or thinking of getting married. This is beautiful. I feel good energy with you all, okay? So definitely don't forget to awaken the God or the goddess within you. And remember to smile. Remember to be your best self. Because that is really all that you can do during Mercury Retrograde is try your best to communicate effectively, okay? And also try to do things ahead of time. Like if you know you want to do something, try to get it done before Mercury Retrograde. Don't try to do it during Mercury Retrograde and get mad when the project... Like, for instance, if you know you want to paint your house, don't actually go pick out paint for your house during Mercury Retrograde. Because what's going to happen is you're going to paint, and you might paint it, and during Mercury Retrograde, they'll be like, oh, this is nice, this is pretty. And then once Mercury Retrograde is over, like by August 15th, you'll be looking at your wall like, uh, this is ugly, I hate it. Like, so it's very important that you pay attention to the details during this season, my love, okay? But overall, there is some healthy changes happening in the home. Someone may also end up pregnant or find out that they are, okay? But this is really, really amazing for all of you that even may be looking forward to something new or some type of good news. 
rest assured that no matter what happens, just remain grounded. Don't let nobody take you off your turf, okay? And don't back down either. Like, if you feel like somebody is being kind of rude to you, speak your mind. But just like I told Sagittarius, do it out of... Sorry, guys, I felt something. <laughs> so just like I told Sagittarius, it's okay to speak your mind, but just this season, just try your best. I don't care. Just do it out of love, okay? Just remember to do it out of love. Remember to get in touch with your intuition because it will never mislead you. Your spirit will never mislead you, okay? Call on the angel of balance to kind of help you balance your emotions this season because that is what you're going to need. Around the 15th or 16th, we will have a full moon in Capricorn, and by then, you will have a little bit more clarity on how you should approach a person or a situation like you will have your thoughts a little bit gathered well um you'll find yourself being more methodical more serious organizing things a bit more um being more serious about the matters of your home or your environment or your children you'll be a lot more serious this season um especially during that second going into the third week of july you're see what I mean. Your energy will go from, ah, to like, okay, I need to get serious. Where's my money? Where's my home? Where's my car? Like you guys will get really, really serious about something that really matters to you. And then it could, again, this could be within your home or something that is really, really close to you. And with Mercury going retrograde in Cancer, yeah, it's definitely going to bring up some emotions. And because you guys are impulsive and you are quick to think and you, you don't care, you rather... You, you would choose somebody out with your words, <laughs> you're going to have to calm down, okay? Try to have a water sign as a friend or an earth sign, either Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or try to have a Capricorn or Virgo or Taurus to help keep you centered and well-grounded. Because if you do, then I promise you, you will forget about the drama. You will go back to your original self and find every reason to laugh and smile and kick your feet up and relax. But if you are teaming up with an air sign, Oh, my God. Like, God forsake. Like a Gemini, for example, forget it. Any chaos or confusion, do not call a Gemini. And I love you, Geminis, if you're watching this. But I'm so serious. Do not call a Gemini over because they are the epiphany of instigation. You don't want to do that, okay? Do not call on a Gemini. Uh, I definitely wouldn't even call on an Aquarius. Now, if you want to call on a Pisces, they might be a bit sympathetic to your situation because they don't like to see people hurt. So they may be like, well, what's wrong? And they may talk to you and comfort you. But if you really, really want to feel grounded and feel in love and happy, call on your water sign friend. Call on your earth sign friend. Okay? I love you, Aries. I hope you like your reading today. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And share this message around the world because everyone deserves to hear this message. And have a beautiful week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And shout out to you. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye.